Alrighty, traders, George here. Time for a look at the trades of the week and the week ahead. Got a lot to go through. It's going to go quick. Uh, for starters, live room last week, a lot of market speed, especially with the mini Russell and the NASDAQ. Actually finished in the green here Tuesday morning, was in the red almost the entire time, except towards the end, where we had a couple of things work in favor. Put in some nice green numbers there. A little bit of red ink on Wednesday. We had the FOMC. And we saw a lot of lockup in the markets uh, in the morning. And then oil inventories on Thursday uh, really helped out a lot with the gains there. And after commission did 1,962 bucks. This is at a 44% win rate, okay? So you got to have belief in what you're doing to be able to press through some of those losers. Another excellent example of that, we don't really know what's gonna happen with the markets as they unfold, but we know what we can do relative to our charts. So everything here driven by the DSR model might be a little bit counterintuitive to the way it seemed during the day as these trades work their way out but that's why you don't want to focus on the day-to-day -day numbers you just want to get in the groove of following the setups and signals don't worry about this part this is going to handle itself in time is the traders that are focused on making money back that are the ones that can't do it they're essentially pulling back their past experiences and reliving them and not able to push forward and follow something like this so don't think about the past. Think about what you're doing right now. What are you allowed to do? If you're allowed to follow a mid-channel continuation, if you're allowed to take a breakout, you should know that in advance and only follow what you're allowed to do. It's going to make a big difference. All right, so enough of that. Trades of the week, the video. Look at the one right before this. I'm not going to go through and pull in prior screenshots. You can go ahead and look at that video. Make sure you do that so you know what we're doing here. For the S&P, we had three trades trigger, 30.5 uh, points on the S&P, okay? Gold, one of the trades triggered for $8.70. I'm only booking that to the scalper, by the way. For oil, we had uh, three for six there, picked up over $1.50 as it worked out. That translates to over $1,500 per contract. And then for the NASDAQ, this is one for three, minus 170, okay? So a little bit of red ink there. We are talking about this section right here. So we had that one for three in the NASDAQ. We had the two for three in the S&P, one for one in gold. And the trades here for oil, uh, that did just over 3,700 bucks there on those trades just from last week on the balance beam model. Okay, that's what we use for the higher time frame stuff. Get on the right side of these balance beams. If you're not, you're typically a trader that's saying, if I only did the opposite, I would have made money. How about taking a look at the current uh, setups I'll show you for the balance beam. So for the NASDAQ, I've got this setup here. Pursuing the long direction here, 42.55.50 to get long, these ensuing targets. If we rally up to 42.50 and break down, we'll get short at 42.39s, 20.40.60s below. If we rally up to 44.40s, we'll get short at 43.28s on a breakdown and 20, 40, 60 for the targets below. If we sell off from where we are and then trade higher, we'll get long at 4180s after a print of 4168. So that's gonna take us down here quite a bit and then see us bounce back up. So four different trade scenarios there. And currently price above this balance beam, one re-entry in each direction for these four setups, trail plus five on 10 from the initial stop loss of 15 and no entries between 1600 and 1 a.m. Uh, Eastern there okay so that's the Nasdaq setup here's the deal with gold we've had a real sharp rally in this last phase here almost going parabolic look to the left we've got a lot of trading commitment about where we are five bucks higher five bucks lower to get short or long with these ensuing targets one re-entry in each direction stops plus two on three from six okay and no entry 1600 to 1 a.m. We're going to be live tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Use the link at the bottom of the video. Hop in the room if you've got time. You can watch me day trade some of these markets and uh, make some comments about the bigger picture trades that we find on the balance beam as well. Until then, I'll see you guys back in the live room.